So let's have a look now at whole charts and fit lists. What we're going to look at is placing a whole chart for our plan view here and also a fit lists for the holes here. So what we need to do is go to our annotate tab and we've got table here on the ribbon. We need a whole chart first of all. So I click on whole chart, come into the drawing area. It's asking me for the insertion point for origin. Now that's the insertion point for origin of the holes themselves. So I'm going to start here right in the center. So it's a shift and right click and I want intersection of the two center lines. Now the rotation angle there, I'm just going to accept as zero horizontal and the name of the origin will be plate like so because we're working on our plate. So I'll press enter there. Select the holes now. So I'm going to select each hole. So there's one and two and three and four like so. What I'll also do is select the center hole as well. I'll then right click and enter to finish and there's our hole chart. Now I'm just going to drop that in up here towards the top of the drawing title block there and what I will do is actually zoom in a bit to make sure that that snap doesn't snap onto the title block itself like so. I could do, doesn't matter, just drops in like that and touches on the edge there. Can you see that? So there's our list of coordinates, whole name, plate one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see there, X, Y, and diameter. So you'll see at the center hole there is at zero, zero, and a diameter of 10, for example. Now I can edit this by double clicking. I can add descriptions, standards, and so on. I'm not going to, I'll leave that up to you. I'll cancel that there and come out. Now I need to place my fit list. So again, I go to table here and there's my fits list there, like so. Now I want to add a new fit list, like so, specify the insertion point and I'll drop it just there, like so. Now there's nothing to actually fit anywhere yet. So what I'm going to do now is start power dimensioning. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to do a zoom window so that I can see everything that I need to see while I'm working on this. So there's my holes there. There's my fit list right there. I now go to annotate and power dimension. And I come in now, first extension line origin or. If I now right click there and pick, let's say, a radial dimension. So I want a radius there. And I'm going to click on this hole here. So as you can see, as I come out, there's the radius dimension. Can you see that? And click like so. Now, if I go up here, I've got expands the dialog box so you can specify fit values. So as you can see, symbol H7, if I click on more there, I can specify exactly what fits where. So nominal size, deviation, maximum limit, dimensional tolerances. This is all the sort of thing that you look at when you're applying nuts and bolts and screws to assemblies to hold pieces of the assembly together. So if I go to hole there, I can go for H7, and I'm just going to pick the default one there and OK that. And then I'll OK it again, like so, and then select the arc or circle and back in power dimensioning. So I'll just press enter there to finish. Update the fits list now, yes please. And you'll see there, look, there's my 3.75 dimension with the H7 fit that I specified with all the tolerances. So it's quick and it's easy to apply whole charts and fit lists to your mechanical drawings.